Do you feel like your vocals keeps getting lost in the mix or sounds out of place no matter how hard you try to mix it? Sometimes when you mix, your vocals sound too thin and other elements of a shadow weight or it sounds too boomy and it feels like it's drowning all other elements in the production. This is why it's important to know how to EQ vocals correctly. In fact, if you know how to EQ vocals correctly, it's going to help you avoid a lot of problems that are common when mixing. In this tutorial, I will share with you my process I use to EQ vocals to get balance and more clarity without losing detail or body from the vocals. Right here, we have a vocal track and a beat. Let's listen. I see with the way you rolling your body on me. Well, I, I see with the way you rolling your body on me. Girl, I know you want me. We're going to use two types of EQ to get this vocal to sound better, okay? I'm going to use the surgical EQ while I'll use this parametric EQ right here from FL Studio. This is the stock plugin to remove the low end rumble and some resonance and unwanted frequency. Also, I'm going to use a tonal EQ while I'll use a multi band EQ like the Sheps 73 EQ to slightly boost or cut certain frequencies to enhance the tone of the vocal. Now, this is a third party plugin from Waves. Now let's start with the surgical EQ, okay? First, we're going to call it the low end rumble, okay? I'm going to right click this, type high pass, order, step eight. Now this is going to vary, but most times a lot of vocals behind on the microphone, it was recorded with and depending on the character or tone of the artist's vocal, you typically want to be careful when you approach the 80 hertz range to the 150 hertz range, okay? So I'm going to cut this and see. I see with the way you rolling your body on me. Well, I, I see. Now, when cutting the low end rumble, you have to be careful so you don't hear a noticeable difference between the before and the after, okay? Because you want to sound too thin. I see with the way you rolling your body on me. Well, I, I see. With the way you rolling your body on me. Okay, so for now, 150 heads is just fine for the low end rumble. Like I said, it varies from vocal to vocal, from artist to artist, and from song to song. Okay, so typically from 80 heads to 150 heads, most times is where you want to cut out the low end rumble. Okay, and then next, we want to take out the resonance frequency, and this is where it gets a little bit interesting. So now, where the resonance frequency are is for example, when I narrow this bound using my mouse wheel, scroll down, okay? You can see now it's tightened up, but when my band is all the way up, scrolling up, you can see it looks, you can see it's looking broad. Okay, now again, it's looking narrow. So I'm going to take this right here and find frequency that sound like it's talking from his nose, where it sounds so obvious. I see with the way you rolling your body on me. Well, I I see with the way you rolling your body on me, girl. I know you want me. I see with the way you rolling your body on me. Okay, sounds more consistent there. Okay, you may need to be more patient and play around the band. Okay, don't go too far like this. Just stay within the range. Okay, so you can find where it's most consistent. I see with the way you rolling your body on me. Well, I, I see with the way you rolling your body on me. You see, there's a sort of ring right there that you can hear. It's so obvious. I see with the way you rolling your body on me. Well, I, so after you just take this and then. Make it deep right here now. Please do not go too deep like this, okay? Just somewhere around here is fine. I see with the way you rolling your body on me. Then I'll do the same for this band as well. I see with the way you rolling your body on me. Well, I, I see with the way you rolling your body on me. Girl, I know you. So you can hear it more consistent right there, okay? So I'm going to reduce that as well. I see with the way you rolling your body on me. Well, I, I see. Do the same thing again with this. 
I see we do it. You rolling your body on me. Well, I, I see we do it. You rolling your body on me. Girl, I know you want me. Yeah, it sounds more consistent there as well. Okay, dip it in. All right, let's see the band two. I see we do it. You rolling your body on me. Well, I, I, I see we do it. You rolling your body on me. Girl, I know you want me. I see we do it. So now, if you have harsh frequencies, like you're listening to the vocal, but it's sounding a bit too harsh in the air, and that's sounding like it's irritating the air a little bit, you can just create a slight dip with this, okay? I see we do. Please do not go all the way like this. I see we do. It's going to make it sound more full and change the overall tone of the vocal, and that's not what I want right now. We're just trying to correct or take out unnecessary frequencies, okay? I see we do it. You rolling your body on me. Well, I, I see we do it. You rolling your body on me. When I turn it off, I see we do it. You rolling your body on me. Well, I, I see we do it. You rolling your body on me. Girl, I know you want me. I wanna turn it on. I see we do it. You rolling your body on me. Well, I, I see we do it. You rolling your body on me. Girl, I know you want me. Now it's already sounding clean. Okay, now even though it doesn't sound like there's a world of difference, right? But trust me, these subtle changes is going to make or break your vocal mix if you don't get it right okay when mixing little changes little big results all right you don't do crazy stuff in the beginning because this is still pretty much in the beginning of the mixing chain okay so now we're going to use the tonal eq all right that's the shep 73 eq okay so we're going to do slight boosts and maybe some slight cuts okay but most likely some boost in the high end to make the vocal brighter okay for example you can see this is um the high frequency is about 12 kilohertz the mid frequencies is around three kilohertz and then the low frequency it's around uh 220 hertz right so this boosts and cuts specific frequencies okay so if for example if i boost this you can hear the change I let me turn it on i see we do it you rolling and when I cut it out, I see we do so you can see it's affecting just 12 kilohertz. Okay, so let's just boost a little bit. I see we do it. You rolling your body on me. Then we can cut out a little bit of the mid because I feel like his vocal is a little bit boxy. Okay, I'm going to cut out some of the mid frequency. I see we do it. You rolling your on me well, I, I see much better okay you can see still very subtle changes okay now if your vocal is feeling too light you may boost a little bit in the mids okay but here i feel like it's still a bit too boxy it's still a little bit too much in the mid so that's why i have to cut out a little bit okay now in the low frequency i think it's just fine but you know let's just do some cuts again i see we do it you rolling your body on me well, I, I, I see we do it you rolling your body on me girl i know you want now when you use either compression or eq most times the loudness level tends to change okay that is the loudness of the vocal or the sound that you're processing so we may need to compensate for that by you know just simply increasing the volume right we're going to adjust the input I see we do it. You rolling your body on me. Well, I, I see we do it. You rolling your body on me. Girl, I know you want me. So I'm going to turn off both EQs and then we'll listen. 
I see with the way you rolling your body on me. Well, I, I, I see with the way you rolling your body on me. Girl, I know you want me. I want to turn on both EQs. This is how it sounds. I see with the way you rolling your body on me. Well, I, So you can see it sounds a whole lot clearer in the mix and this is why knowing how to EQ vocals properly can make or break your mix. If you found this tutorial helpful, please hit the like button so that others who struggle with this problem can see this video and help themselves as well. You can also subscribe to keep up with more helpful content and tutorials like this. I remember so classy, this is SC Toots. Cheers.